Not bad for the third time on the lead. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Leave it. Leave it. I know he's in the middle. Good girl. Easy.
the stability, the willingness, and the desire to work for someone. Yeah. She's not retaliated once. She's not been aggressive to kids. She's not been with so much drive or the trigger wasn't so big that when they ran around, I mean, she didn't try to get them. At this point, when I did a temperament assessment on Maggie, she was already going after other dogs. Harry was, I mean, you didn't see him when he first came, but believe me, going after other dogs was huge. That's because they were taken to dog parks and allowed to play and get beat up by other dogs. Now, dog parks isn't necessarily the park, it's play groups. You take a little shy kid that doesn't know how to be socialized, you throw them out in the middle of a group, it's scary. This dog had no socialization. Socialization is simply teaching that dog to trust you anywhere. The beauty of this dog is she never had any social. Nobody did it wrong. You both have dogs that it had been done wrong. Maddie had had a couple of wrong lessons. For that reason, she had to come. Maddie's doing really good. Okay, it was a blank slate. She's much like McNally. Fargo was given up at 11 weeks old. Isn't that a problem? Diva, there's no problem with Diva, except Sue likes her too much. Or Sue's husband likes her so much. Wiley over there in the corner, when he was a puppy, somebody dumped him out on the streets. <coughs> You talk about a dog that was aggressive to other dogs. When we were trying to get him to come down, he was probably about six, seven months old. He had seven of those big, heavy cucumbers on, two six-foot log chains, two three-pound ankle weights, and he was tied to a 40-pound dumbbell, and he was still trying to get the other dog. He was afraid of garbage cans, he was afraid of Oh my god. Afraid of guys with hats on, afraid of the dark. You talk about a dangerous animal. It's not what you have, it's what you do with it. I'm sorry. Oh, wow.
and you are really blowing chances for this dog to be a service dog. If this dog is pulling away from you to go to other people, you got a problem. Let it get out of there. Before he can relax, he's got to know everyone in this room is safe. That's how he can keep me safe. So a good watchdog does not walk around acting tough. <coughs> a good watchdog walks around. A good watchdog has to be safe for kids. Are you a kid? Yeah. Easy way. Come here, one. Okay, take a hold of his collar and tell him to be easy. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Now he has hip displeasure, so it used to be when a kid took his collar and told him to be easy, he would roll over on his back for the kids to pet. Because he's such a scary big dog, um, I taught him that when I was working with foster kids. He has trouble getting up, so we're going to let him. Hey, 
Good dog. Is she holding a grudge? Nope. No. You can't just keep thumping on her, trying to get her to be calm all the time. What kind of a boring dog would that be? You want to get her at her worst. Show her that you're not worried about that either. Good boy, Harry. Come on, Dad. Easy. Good job.
your priorities. What you need done. Oh, girl. Now, a healthy, beautiful, young dog crying. Or teach it learning and occupation. How much better would it been if these people would have been able to go to a class where they actually talked about something valid rather than concentrated on tricks? Agility, rally. She could be talked to, bite to. She could do some protection work. There's very little this dog couldn't be taught to do. Some things she'd be better than others, but she could be taught to do them. We, she's very lucky because we concentrate on the education, not the performance. When your first priority is performance, you lose this. You lose relationship. I know you're very cute. The purpose of training is communication. The beauty of this is you can't do it without the cue collars and you can't do the cue collars without the method. So it's pretty cool. This is as easy as dog training really is though. Just hey. to clarify. Hey, come here. With me. Hey, with Nally. With me. Yes? Just to clarify, Wait. you mentioned earlier that this is uh, McNally's third week. Yeah. You have not been working with this dog no, for three no, weeks. No, this is the third session. You've worked with him yeah. three times. On the internet, on, the, on this site, you have seen every bit of training this dog has had. Every piece of it. I've done nothing in between. So when people talk about consistency, if you do 
one good working session and you've done everything very precise, that is 100% consistency. If you work seven days a week, an hour a day, you cannot possibly, physically or mentally, be consistent for that much. You can't. Because you can only be consistent about three minutes. Or most people are five, I'm three. But when I'm consistent, I am consistent. This is the sharing of my program. My hope is that people are somehow saved from getting bad information. Because we need a change in this country. And our kids and dogs. The rules are the same for both. Hi, McNally. Good girl. This dog could have easily gone to the Humane Society and actually been put down. This is the potential in just about every dog that is. And every child. They start out as an innocent little puppy themselves. It's what we do with them. Anyway, so when's the